Hello everyone, my name is Ebenezer Amwakwenchi and welcome to this YouTube channel. Um, if you are new to this channel, please do all subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure that you turn on the notification bell icon so that in time that I release new videos, um, YouTube will get to notify you. Actually, I would say that this is a, a commercial break. I mean, I've resumed from break because um, it's been a long time since I do my tutorials on this YouTube channel. And trust me, that there, there, there are going to be a lot of <laughs> new videos that I'm going to actually um, upload. Now, before I proceed to today's video, I want to actually, I mean, tell us something. I mean, there were times that when I upload videos, someone was like, I mean, sneezing, kind of coughing, that kind of thing. I shouldn't do them in my videos. Yes, I actually appreciate that comment. But the truth is that, I mean, it is a health condition. And, you know, I can't let that hinder me from producing videos. Yes, so in case in my shooting or in my video, I mean, as I'm speaking, and <coughs> I have to call for something. I suggest you, you kind of um, forgive. I mean, what I'm sharing, the video, the content, the video is very, very important. So let's focus on that. Thank you so much. So today we are going, I'm going to talk to you about how to buy a laptop, what to look out for when you are buying a laptop, and also how you can get a cheap laptop to buy in Ghana, even though the specs are good. Now, I wouldn't go more deep. I'm going to go basic. I mean, the basic I'm going to talk to you about is something that can keep you going. And quite a bit, I wouldn't explain into detail as I am supposed to. Yes, I want this idea to be, I mean, for the layman to understand. So basically, when you're buying a laptop, okay, there is the RAM, there is the storage, there is the speed and also there is the generation and the processor okay well we have some other things like i mean the screen resolution and i wouldn't talk much about it but the main thing that you focus on is the ram the storage <coughs> the generation of the machine the processor it is using and the speed of that machine now let's talk about the RAM. Now the RAM actually is, I mean, that which almost everything runs on the computer. So when the RAM is removed, okay, when the RAM is removed, realize that the, the, the machine cannot work. The machine wouldn't work. So the RAM is very, very, very important. And also the RAM also, the, I mean, helps in the speed or how faster the laptop is going to run so for example if someone is having a laptop of uh, with a ram 16 gig and someone is having i mean ram space of let's say 4 gig definitely the speed of these two different machines are going to change they are not going to be the same so when you're buying a laptop you have to look out for the ram size now we have i mean some laptops that can take up to two rams others to have only one ram slot and also um we have some laptops so far the highest i have seen it myself or the, the highest i've used before is 16 gig of ram machine yes we, we have a machine of uh, a ram size of 16 gig we, i've seen some laptops with 32 gig and the next thing is that um i, I went to a parent to ask and he, he told me that you can't actually get a laptop with a ram like 16 gig like full like that they combine 8 gig 8 gig together to give you the uh, 16 how did i know that i just wanted to upgrade my laptop from 16 gig to um <laughs> that is 32 so i went there to tell them that if there is a slot that they can slot in another ram of things so they, they explained to me that no <laughs> it doesn't work like that yes so that is the ram now which one is ideal for you to consider? Well, well, on the average, it is considered if you can get 8 gig of RAM. Yes. Well, with, with 8 gig of RAM, 
you can't be able to <laughs> you can't be able to I mean do video editing now video editing you can be able to use Photoshop and I mean some I mean high I mean machines you can be able to work on them that is why 8 gig of RAM appreciably is good the next is the, the, the storage now we have three kinds of the storage but I'll talk about two which is the SSD and the HDD so what, what do you mean by SSD when we say SSD what we mean is that solid state drive we have the HDD which is hard disk drive now what is the difference the difference is that one is faster than the other now the solid state drives they run faster i mean more faster than the hard disk drive that is why when you go to the market for example you can get a laptop of a ram i mean sorry a storage space of let's say one terabyte and it is i mean hdd and a machine of 265 gigabyte of storage and someone who knows more about computer you're going to choose the ssd the reason is that it doesn't it, it's not like the person doesn't um need a machine that is having that kind of high storage speed but the person is th thinking about the speed so the laptop we i have one laptop that i can show us here this evening yes so this laptop i'm having here it's having eight gigabytes of ram yes the ram in it is eight gig it, it is a dell laptop i mean the ram is eight gigabytes and the the storage is 180 gigabytes now this one eight gigabytes so it's a how you see it is a solid state drive it is very 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 fast and when booting and it helps to <laughs> let the machine run fast even though the speed of the machine depends i mean on the ram other things also comes in place to boost how fast the machine is going to run yes so i hope you you get it so clear then we have the hard disk drive now the hard disk drive it is not bad i mean someone might be having that kind of ram and you'll be saying like hey then let me go and change my no i'm not saying that it is not it is not good i just want you to know the ones we have i mean on the market so let me remove the bag so i just, I just want you to know what we actually have in the market so that i mean you take decisions very well before you go and buy them so preferably it is good that um you get a laptop of ssd storage yes i would advise that so for example i have i mean my hp here now that hp is having i mean a storage size of two terabytes and the, the happy thing is that all the two i mean i mean the two terabyte is ssd so you can imagine how far the machine is going to run you know so but I, this one is 180 gigabyte of space and it runs so 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 fast in fact it is very 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 fast yes so after we talk about the storage and the ram then we talk about the generation now the thing is that generation is so so important okay um, for example they build the laptops according to the new software and development that comes so a laptop of let's say third generation okay can handle some of our third generation based softwares or let's say nine or eight generation but the thing is that it's going to be hard for it to run it well as expected because it wasn't created for that generation of computers that is why as time goes on we have some android apps that tend not to run on some mobile phones because those phones when they were created they were created at a certain android level that now the new software sorry the new other that are being created 
can't run smoothly on those phones so we have to discard it from running on them the same applies to these computers personally i'll advise that if a laptop is below a feet generation don't buy it yes actually the, the, the laptop i have here okay um, this one is actually a seventh gen machine <laughs> yes there is a seventh gen machine and also well, I'll, I'll, I'll go, this is a seventh generation machine I have I mean my HP here that one is a 10th generation machine you know so you, you, you realize that there are some apps that there are softwares that will run faster on the HP more than the that I'm having here because of the difference in the generation so the generation is very 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 important now as I preferably as I said don't buy a laptop with a generation which is lower than feet generation i prefer that you buy a laptop that is probably feet generation seat seven or nine gen or ten generation have you quite cool this will take us to the processor now i mean the popular one that people know about is we have the intel processors and we have the amd processors now most of us are more familiar with the intel processors that is so good and you see earlier on in time um amd processors were at a disadvantage when I say they are at a disadvantage, what I mean is that they tend to produce a lot of heat. I remember when I was young, when I was coming up, my brother was advising me that I should buy Intel laptops because, I mean, they don't produce heat that much as compared to AMD. <laughs> but unfortunately, the if you are using is an AMD machine, yes, but this one is Intel. I'm not, say, I'm not saying that... Um, AMD is better than Intel or whatever. That, that I'm just trying to explain things to you. So earlier on, that was how AMD, I mean, processors were. They tend to produce a lot of heat. But now, they have come with a lot, I mean, a more advanced form of processes, which runs very, 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 very well. So I don't know whether you've, you've heard of this before that, um, don't buy amd i mean kind of processes and uh, stick to intel i mean if you've heard something like that then it, it isn't true yes because we have some of the amd I and mean, processes now that runs more faster than some of our intel i mean processes so we also have the intel 2 there now we, we have intel we have for i3 core i5 core i7 and i think yeah the core i9 machines to are in yes we have the core i9 now preferably i will advise that if you are buying an intel processor based machine i'll advise that um you get a, a, a processor i mean of if it is core i5 very preferable but there are times that the generation will be high this you can have a seven generation machine and the intel processor is let's say called i3 sometimes um you can just go in for that but i would prefer that you get at least a core i5 processor of i mean laptop so when you have this advanced form of <laughs> processor it helps to boost the speed or the performance of the laptop you can also go in for amd actually you have amd ryzen 7 you have the ryzen 5 you have the ryzen now i think my yes so my my my, my hp the, the the it is ryzen 7 but we have ryzen 5 there we also have ryzen 9 today 
yes and with the amd if you get amd rising five it is best in fact that can even compete with amd ryzen i mean intel core i7 yes right now it's so so powerful now getting to know about i mean the processor as i said i recommend ryzen 5 for the amd and also recommend the intel core i5 that is on the average i5 or more will be more accepted and also um we have 32 bit processors and we have 64 bit processors this one straight up get the 64 bit processes it is worth it yes so and i think nowadays most of the laptops that i have been seeing with my eyes most of them are 64 bit processes yes and most softwares are built for i mean 64 bit even though if you're having 32 bits you can get some but you see you, you can't get a processor of let's say intel core i7 and it is 32 bits i wonder yes so you check whether it is a um, 64 bit processor check that then let's go to the speed i mean the speed of the laptop is, is measured in giga gigahertz okay so mostly it runs from one gigahertz to i think i think the one i'm using is 2.99 which is almost three yes you can get more than that i think we have some laptops that are having um about having about i think 3.5 3.4 3.9 some can have four but on the average if you can get a laptop with let's say 1.99 or let's say two gigahertz or more that will be more appreciated okay that will be more appreciated so we, we, we've talked about the ram the storage the generation the processor and the speed of the machine now talking about some other stuff you can also talk or think about now that particular thing is i mean the size okay of of the laptop now pers personally okay this this machine is a 12.6 inch machine this one and my hp is 15.4 inch machine now i wouldn't advise i mean buying a laptop especially if you are someone that you're going to use a laptop portably like moving it from one place to the other i think if you get 16 inch 17 even it's, it's quite big yes it's quite big but if it's going to be a laptop that's going to be at home i don't have a problem especially if it's for video editing yes so you see that i mean that screen here for example it is a monitor i bought for the purpose of video editing so that i can have a larger screen when i'm editing my videos because the, 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 the this one is i think 27 inch screen i mean desktop whilst my laptop is 15.4 inch so you can imagine yeah so if it's, it's going to be static it's going to be at one particular place then i think and our our encourage you can buy 17 inch or more you can even buy but if it's going to be portable it shouldn't be more than 16. i'm saying you guys i have i have one laptop i have another hp that is i mean yes we, we have one at i mean uh our media and that one is 16. yeah that is hp gate pavilion 16 yeah so we have that type i think i think that's the largest i mean size laptop we have i mean at our media here that that's the largest one we don't have any big laptop like this because it's because of the portability yes yeah, so check for that and also check for the screen resolution yes we have the i mean full high definition machine that is the fhd we have ultra high definition uhd and we have the hd which is high definition on the average we get the ultra high definition screen resolution it's going to be so helpful to you then also check that there is a webcam 
on the laptop yes it's it's quite good and also check whether the laptop is having a keyboard light now our our advice to check or consider one that one very well because a laptop without a keyboard light and it, it, it's it's kind of some way why are you using it in the evening yes because you have to especially if there's a light out or the place why it's kind of dark you have to turn on your torch to actually see if things are going to work and then it's it shouldn't be so let me check the, the next point in here okay so it's <coughs> it shouldn't be so so you have to get a laptop with a keyboard light so almost everything i said is in this particular laptop i talked about actually i don't have to tell you about how to get cheap laptops to buy that is going to happen in my next video after this particular teaching i hope this video helps you make sure you share this to a friend to guide him or her to buy a laptop school is going to resume i mean shs universities technical technical universities i mean training colleges people would like to buy laptops some are in their final year they want to actually do their project works and i believe this video is going to be of, of help to them going to be of help. so please make sure you share this to someone to actually i mean know this thing before the person goes to actually buy a laptop now i'll do another video tutorial where i'll share my screen with you and teach you how you can actually check all these i talked about how do you check the, the ram of your machine how do you check the, the hard disk size how do you know the bit of processor you are having now on that in that video i'll share with you what to consider if your laptop is is going to be meant for video editing there's something i'll talk about yes that's what i'm talking about as i said i wouldn't go detail there are some things to check something like the graphics of the machine does it even have a dedicated graphics for it? but i didn't talk about because this is a general overview so there were some things i didn't talk about them but in the series of videos about computers i'm going to show you some of these things i mean if if if, if you are going to do architectural work what kind of laptop are you to buy? Because you have some laptops, they have the good spec, but they are too enclosed like this one. You can't use this for architectural work. You can use but in the course of time, well, <laughs> you talk about it. Yeah, so please, once again, my name is Ebenezer. I'm Wako Entry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a YouTuber and I'm the one doing most of the videos on this YouTube channel. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that when new videos are uploaded, I mean, you can be notified and also if you need a laptop to buy please i'll leave my contact in the video description also you check check the videos when you see my number there contact me and let's give you an affordable laptop to buy yes i mean you have to trust me you know <laughs> so thank you and see you in my next video goodbye